welcome back in this video i am back with the upgraded version of our e-shop web app in this version you can see a clean look again the category size with all categories and subcategories and also uh, when i click on the all categories uh, the price per unit is mentioned clearly here the total price of the selected amount for example i select the 250 now the price is this and when i select the 100 now this is this and again uh, we have added the rating functionalities and live view functionality which is in our previous version i will explain again all the features in this video because many of my viewers may be new in this video so uh, for that i will uh, explain all the things again so this is our ecom v2 before that we have this kind of version you can see the categories and subcategories we changed this design uh, we changed this design to this uh, impressive design you can see here and click on all categories and also you can uh, i have added many changes and added the drop down functionalities and also added the discount of five percent uh, for the bulk purchase for example if i click on the add product the product is successfully added and if i change the quantity of more than 100 then five percent discount is applied it more than 100 the total price is this and now the price after discount will be this uh, because I, it's a bulk purchase in a wholesale so if i select more than 100 quantities a 5% discount will be given my uh, given to me from the seller when i click on again 100 so you will see the prices for the 100 hairs and also uh, the sec uh, i will also explain this uh, for wholesale select bulk quantities via drop down wish list functionality again uh, the add to cart, the stock limitations, the category and subcategory, the live view button. Uh, what is the live view button? Uh, this is the live view button in our product sections. We can add a live view URL. For example, this is iPhone 13. And if you have a YouTube video tutorial for your this product, you can add that particular URL here. So a person, so a person can see uh, the live demo the live tutorial all of this product from your channel and you will see here the product is already in the cart and so the drop down is here uh, is cleared from here and when i again click on the add card it will see enter a quantity greater than zero and if i select again 100 and click on add it will say product already in cart update the quantity in card if needed okay so this uh, web app is also mobile responsive so you can see here uh, this is also mobile responsive and here's a up button which we which, which will take you that on the top and here's the uh, uh, wish list the uh, add to cart and the categories functionality on the mobile view and uh, now we will uh, uh, now we will uh, uh, explain the step by step uh, each features uh, Briefly, my English is not well. I am uh, just trying to make my videos in English so, to, so you guys make understand me what I told to you. Okay, so this is our web app. So now in our Google Sheet, we have three child sheets the product sheets, the category sheets, and the list order sheets. In product sheets, we can add unlimited products uh, what i want to add in the a column the id in b column the product name the price the units and the quantity for example if i set to the uh, this zero quantity for example this is set to be zero quantity and also this set to be zero quantity stock updates so uh, now when i am going to refresh my web app i cannot able to see these two products because i don't have uh, because i don't have the stock in my warehouse i don't have that particular item stock so it will not shown on the main web app okay uh, also if i again uh, come in the stock and click on the 100 and now i am going to refresh my web app so you can see here i am again able to see that particular two products again on the top and uh, also uh, i can change the ratings from here for example 4.0 i change it 4.0 uh, right now it's five stars when i click on refresh it will change to four stars okay so it will change to four stars again when i if i want to like 
to purchase the iPhone 13 I just click on the added to wish list and when I click on the wish list so you can see here I have again two buttons the remove one and the add to cart if I will remove it will be removed from the wish list and my wish list is now empty and uh, when I click on again add to cart the product is already in the cart and if I want to add this is in our wish list also this is in our wish list so you can see here in my wish list I have two products I can add directly from here to add to cart for it will say enter a quantity greater than zero so I need to uh, add to it here from here product added to zero because I want to need uh, to give him at least one quantity at least greater than zero quantity to add in the card so it's a restriction so here when I click on the electronics so you can see here I can only able to see the electronic items and click on the smartphones here so you can see here I am I am only able to view my smartphone category and when I click on the laptops I am only able to view my laptops when I select the smartphones the laptop will be automatically deselect and when I click on laptops the smartphone will automatically deselect and when I click on all categories now I am able to see all of my products from here and again for clothing when I click on menswear so I can see here the menswear and the women's wear for here because the category is not set uh, in the hair the men's wear and the women's wear so both comes in the uh, clothing category and again when I click on the woman's uh, home uh, the kitchen and the furniture again you can see here and click on the all categories so uh, now you can see here the image URL and in the category in a column the ID name in B column the category and C column the subcategory you can add unlimited category. for example this is you will see this is a category electronics in electronics we have smartphone and laptops again in electronics we have smartphone electron for example here I, I am going to change uh, the data cable and uh, I will select this and I, when I am going to refresh my web app and now in my category I will see in my electronics category the data cable also because uh, this is a subcategory the electronics uh, is the main one and this is its subcategory uh, our, our code will check in the categories and then, uh, again the same uh, time it will check its subcategory and shown in our uh, front end uh, features so you can also apply the search functionality from here easily so um, uh, when I click on the uh, this add to cart button so uh, I will change for this from 100 also the 100 to many 250 so now a 5% discount has been implemented okay because right now here we only have 100 quantities in our database so it will only show me the 100 it will only show me the 100 drop down because uh, in our code you can add the drop downs uh, starting from here the 50 for example I will change to I will add the 50 and the 75 and uh, the 125 and I when I click on this save icon and when I click on the refresh my web app so now you can see here in my drop down I am able to see uh, I am able to see uh, the categories of 100 uh, 250 and again something like that you can see here and I click on the add to cart so you can see here the 50 the 75 the and 100 it will stop uh, to 100 For, uh, why it stopped 100 because the quantity is limited to 100 not more than 100 so it will not show you more than 100 because we have all we have 100 quantities available so I select 100 so here you will see here the 50 the 75 the 100 the 125 when I select 125 a 5% discount is added and I when I enter my name and contact and address and click on the confirm and when I click on the confirm your order being processed so now my order is successfully been submitted in our database so now you can see it in list order uh, the order I send it to here uh, is this so hope you like this tutorial and uh, I am also working on many other projects in future we are able to add a custom domain with our Google Apps script so stay tuned with me if you want to join our membership the link is in the description you can join take care of office